Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Hey, kids. I'm Q the Coast Rican, and, and today we are back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ranked battle stadium singles 3v3s here in Regulation H. And today we're using the powerful Rock Head Arcanine with the Life Orb, Head Smash, Flare Blitz, Terra Fighting, Close Combat, and Extreme Speed. Just wanted all these attacks to do big damage. Uh, and then we got Specs Glim. If you guys want to check out all the intricacies of the EV spreads, they will be located in the Pokepace in the description down below. We're rocking out with Specs Glim just as, as like an anti Ursaluna lead, more so than uh, like a Focus Sash getting up hazards kind of lead instead. Uh, we got AV Backs, which I'm really hyped to be uh, using today. I've been beaten by this Terra Electric AV Backs. I don't know if it's like this exact set spread, you know, EVs. Um, but this is just how I, I know it's been AV and I know it's been Terra Electric. So this is what I'm going to try and rock out with it. I think this could be really strong. Glaive Rush, while it does have a negative secondary effect of deal taking double damage after using Glaive Rush, still very powerful. Going to have it on there since we're not running loaded dice. No reason to use Scale Shot instead. Uh, Terra Blast Electric catches a lot of things off guard like Primarina as well as Corviknight and uh, uh any other water type of course we have loaded dice just standard dragonite max speed max uh attack with adamant nature scale shot e-speed earthquake dragon dance we have stall beating bronzong i.e i needed something for glide score because i was looking at the team and i was like wow glide score kind of just beats me don't want that to happen let's bring bronzong which absolutely can destroy glide scores if they're just toxic earthquake protect sub or whatever like like the standard glide score tends to run and then last but not least, we have Focus Sash, Ursaluna, Blood Moon. I've seen a lot of Focus Sash, Blood Moon, mainly used when Reg G was going down because it could, uh, it was really good against opposing Ubers, of course. Always being able to tank one hit and dealing huge damage back. But uh, I opted it. I want to try it out now. I haven't used it at all. It's got max special attack with max speed. I think, I think being able to uh, just blindly click moves with Ursaluna and not care about the damage being dealt back to you because you have a Sash. Uh, can be really beneficial so with that being said guys uh let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the team as well as any of the new pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future with that being said guys i'm gonna get it out of here uh da, 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 da. i hope you all like the video i hope you all subscribe if you're new and i hope you all enjoy the battles wow okay not not what i was expecting to be running into pretty unique team to say the least levani could be sticky webs that'd be annoying what are we gonna do folks i think that could be Scarf Annihilate, Final Gambit to just do something. Or it could also just be like Focus Sash with Stealth Rocks. I don't know, man. What are we going to do? I kind of planned on just like leading Blood Moon no matter what. So it looks good. So I'll do that. Um, And then, because I don't have any, uh, any mons that could live a Final Gambit. As in, I don't have a Ghost type, unfortunately. Took it off the team for Specs Glimmy Glim because I thought it looked really good. Uh, I think Dragonite looks good for obvious reasons, so we'll go with that. And then I think we'll go with the Rockhead guy. I don't really think we need AV backs, maybe, uh, for the Hisuian Braviary. And I guess potentially the Gooder. Um, but yeah, let's just see how these three goes. I think if they do get off with Final Gambit Annihilate, then at least I don't lose a Pokemon, right? We'll, they'll just break our Sash on, uh, on our guy. But uh, yeah, let's see what they end up doing. I do think it's uh, either Sash or Scarf Final Gambit with like rocks on the Annihilate, which I'll be cool with. Uh, they do lead off with this Pokemon. So I guess I will just be firing off a big Blood Moon. Let's just look at something. I just want to see. So this might be Scarf. This also might be Banned. I don't know if... I don't think Intimidate popped up, right? It was... Yeah, okay. I assume it's Reckless, but you never fucking know. Uh, so yeah, wow, Choice Bandit Close Combat doesn't even guarantee kill me. And I'm not even HP invested, that's crazy. Okay, anyways, Blood Moon is a guaranteed kill. So they're gonna go for Tailwind, okay. Okay, who's gonna be fast? Who do they want fast? The guy? The little snake boy? Oh, there's Sash. Okay, very cute. So are they gonna quick attack me, is the question. So I would like to keep my Sash. I would like to keep the Sash. No, they don't, okay. They got Tailwind up, though. For who? The other bird, maybe? I don't know. Potentially the other bird? If it is the other bird, I feel like we just kill it. With what's it called, so that's really not... It is the other bird. Yeah, this bird just, I'm sure, dies. I saw this bird die to a Shadow Ball 
through light screen. Uh, <laughs> shout out to the throwback. Yeah, I'm just gonna blood moon. If you tear his steel, like whatever. Yeah, calm mine. Okay, that's not gonna be enough, folks. Unless they're max HP, I do not think that's gonna be enough at all. I don't even think this guy gets roost. And we're just gonna crit through. I've already decided. Okay, we didn't crit through, but that actually did a lot less than I thought it would. Or we got the absolute min roll possible. It gets recovered, doesn't it? Um, I'm just gonna hyper voice now. They do get roost. Okay, we're going hard Arcanine after this turn. Hard Canine. Go. If they ask for ring, good play. If they ask for wing, good play. Because ironically, if they ask for wing, I just killed them. So they have to. I feel like they have to call my. Oh, they was perfect. All right. So this could be steel. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and say it's not. I'm just gonna head smash, man. Hell yeah. Get him, Arcanine. Get this, get this bullshit out of here. <laughs> I mean, like, it, it, the fun effort, like, right? Like, I respect it. It could have just been max HP, I suppose. But at the same time, it's just like, what do we... You know what I mean? Like, come on. <laughs> I respect it. But I also... My Hisuian mom was better. Anyways, they bring out this guy. This could be Terra Ghost? Um, I think I'm okay if it is. So I'm just gonna do this. I don't see why they would Terra Ghost right now, if it is Terra Ghost. Maybe if they're Terra Ground, I could see that. But then I died regardless, so may as well Terra. Uh, and let's see if we can get this last KO with Arcanine. That'll be amazing. It would be amazing. They don't Terra, this might be dead. Life Orb, Terra Fighting boosted close combat? Get him out of here, coach. Let's go. Alright, I mean, very, very unique team that my opponent had. Lead Sash, Tailwind, Staraptor. I mean, like, I guess I get it, kind of, but also, eh, Not really, guys. Not really. It's really not the wave. Look at the orange grew in the tree. I didn't even look at the thing before. That's so funny. Wow, our second, um, whatever that Pokemon's name is. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The fucking... The Dun Dun... The Dun Sparse. That's it. That's what I knew it was something silly. Anyways, um... What looks good here? How do I... Handle... The Garchomp. That's a good question. I think... Do I lead off with Dragonite? I feel like that's a crazy lead. I'm kind of assuming they either lead with Blood Moon or Primarina. Both of which I guess Bax is good for. It's bad if they lead Garchomp. Which I guess they could also... But I, I don't think they want to Earthquake the Glim. You know what I mean? I don't think they want to do that. Uh, and then we're going to bring Arcanine, the big dog. <laughs> and then uh, I could just lead off with my Blood Moon. I did kind of... That's kind of what I... Yeah, let's just do that, actually. Let's just lead off with our Blood Moon. Let's go for you. And then either Lastmon, Glim, Bax, or you. Glim, Glim, Dragonite, or Bax. <gasps> I think if we, lead, if we bring Bax, we got a Terra. Like 100%. Uh, we'll do it, though. If they bring rocks, they bring rocks, and then, like, it sucks, but whatever. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, most Garchomps these days are pretty offensive, you know what I mean? They're not really... Not a lot of them are, uh, like, Season 1 super bulky rock spikes Dragon Tail, you know? I might bring that back, though. That's That seems, like, pretty fun in theory. Uh, anyways, they lead off a big T-Tar. As I let off with Ursa Luna. Are they gonna Terra? Uh, they're not air balloon, so I am just going to fire off an earth power and see what happens. If they end up terra flying, then they end up terra flying. You know, it's not really, I don't really care. This is probably the rocker. So guess what would have been an insane lead? Arcanine. Arcanine would have been crazy. Would have just got the kill. Let's see how much we do. They go for the low kick, which doesn't bring me down to Sash. They are faster, by the way. They're faster, by the way. They might switch on my Vacuum Wave. They know I have it. Like, they know I have it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna Blood Moon. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. 
Let's go. Okay. Prim Arena? Show me Prim. Give me some chip on Prim. That'd be huge. Yeah, baby. Let's go. It's called a prediction, honey. Get you one. All right. Um, We might be faster than this. I mean, the Tyranitar was faster than us, so that means they have a lot of speed investment. But let's find out if they have a lot of speed investment on this guy. Because I have max speed, and they do not. Sash lead Blood Moon does it again. Things you love to see. Let's go. I'm glad I ran this set. Because I was, I was like... I, I've never ran Focus Sash Blood Moon, but I've always seen it put in work. So I was like, why not? Let's do it. They're bringing him back in. They think I don't have it. Little do they know. I've got it on me. Get him out of here, coach. Where's the rage quit? Who's the third? <laughs> is it Sandvale Chomp? Oh, fuck me. It's Sandvale Chomp, isn't it? It's probably Sandvale Chomp. That would be that. Scale Shot Chomp would suck. I don't think Scale Shot matters in the moment. But just like in general, Scale Shot. I mean, just Chomp would be a really bad last if that's what they brought. I feel like they did. Um. If they go, if they show Blood Moon, I'll just vacuum wave, obviously. They did bring Chomp. Fuck me, dude. Are they going to Swords Dance? I lose, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. We'll find out together. Uh, I'll Blood Moon in the off chance they try to Swords Dance. Okay, it is Earthquake. Smart. Smart, smart, smart. So, I guess I go Bax Caliber. Life Orb. Force them to Terra. With my Ice Shard. And then that might put them in range of CC. Arcanine. Garchomp. I mean, they're always Terra Steel. You know what I mean? But this one's Life Orb. So maybe it's something else. Maybe it's Terra Ground. Uh, anyways. Mm, terra Fighting. I need to do at least... Okay, I think we got this. If I just Ice Shard here. Yeah, they have to Terra. Okay. What's it going to be? If it's Steel, then Arcanine should clutch. It's Fairy. Okay, that's okay. See, I'm glad I figured that out. You know what I mean? Because they would never have teared in front of Arcanine. Big Ice Shard coming in. That looks like enough chip. Iron Head. Not enough to kill me. Which is insane behavior when you really think about it. It's going to Ice Shard again. Get more, get as much chip as I can. They do show Terror Blast. I don't think they Terror Blast on Arcanine. You know what I mean? They're gonna Earthquake me. I shouldn't die to a Life Orb Earthquake. I feel like, as long as I Terra. As long as I Terra. Yeah, I do. It does a lot. If they're adamant, then I, I think I outpace them. So that's also fine. Yeah, if they're adamant, I outpace them. No, I don't. I speed tie. Wow, that's an oversight. I, I sped crept uh, max speed backs, and I did not know that they kind of intersect there. Oh, I have e-speed. Is e-speed enough? I think e-speed's enough. We'll just do that instead. I didn't even... Okay, we're good. I, I forgot. I, had, I have priority, guys. <laughs> I don't normally like have a whole lot of priority on teams. You know what I mean? I actually have... I, now that I'm thinking about it out loud, I have four different versions... Versions? What's the word? Four different... Uh, I have four priority moves on this entire team. And I just now realized it. Vacuum Wave, Ice Shard, two E-Speeds. Nice. Four different options of priority? I think that's the word I was looking for. But let's go. Arcanine does it again. Shout out Blood Moon, man. Shout out me predicting them switching. Because of course you switch, right? Of course. They get in such a good position for Prim. I ironically, though, I still would have like done a lot of damage to it. Because I was faster. So, But, you know, it is it is what it is. Okay, looks like we ran into that stall team that's running around. Uh, I saw a team with like a stall team with like Gudra on it. That was uh, I can't remember where it was on the ladder in last season, but I, I just remember I just remember scrolling past and I was like, wow, what a loser. Anyways, Bronzong beats this team, so that's really cool. Uh, we got Specs Glim as well. I think uh, Big Doll looks amazing here too, and so does Bax for that matter. Uh, so what I am going to end up doing is just leading off with Blood Moon. And then if the lead pecks, I'm going to I'm gonna tear Poison. Um, because I don't need to terrestrialize my guy here to win. And then after that, 
I think I just want a big damage dealer. So I'm going to go with Arcanine. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Dondozo looks to be a bit annoying, but I feel like my Bronzong can 1v1 it as well. Bronzong goes crazy here, I feel like. Bronzong stops the Gliscor, stops the uh, Toxapex, can Iron Defense in front of um, Blissey. Really just can't deal with uh, what's his face, uh, the Goldangers. So we'll see what they end up doing with that. And we'll all just go from there. Uh, they do loot off a Gliscor. Not even going to do anything crazy. Simply just going to go hard Bronzong. I don't really care what this guy wants to do. I thought about just Terra Poisoning immediately. Um, oh wait, I guess I did say that's what I was going to do. But I guess I could do the same thing after. Just in case they get a T-Spike up. No, I'll just, I'll just Bronzong now. I'll just Bronzong now. I'll save my Terra. I can save it. I don't necessarily need to do it immediately. Um, but it looks like they're just going to try to win on timer from the jump. So, you know, we're only getting three battles today, guys. <laughs> this is what this team is centered around. It's genuinely, like, centered around hoping to get one kill. And then also and this timer stalling your opponent. It's so stupid. I don't understand how people can have fun doing this. But, hey, I guess they have fun doing it. I'm literally in Ultra Ball tier, by the way. Oh, they fling. I can't get toxic, buddy. United. Wait, so they don't even have the thing. What an idiot. What? <laughs> they don't even know how to use timer stall. Okay. You can't even. What's it called now, bro? Like, you can't even. What's it called now, bro? Like, huh? I'm just going to psychic noise. I guess I'll just psychic noise, anyways. Okay, they, they have knockoff. All right. That's fine. That's so funny. So now, now I guess this is a non-factor. Like, they can't even Toxic stall anymore, which is very funny. Uh, maybe they didn't bring Bronzong. I will Gyro Ball for Chip. The battle is... Get him out of here, bro. Get him the fuck... You don't know how to play. You don't know how to play stall. Get him out of here. We're getting a fourth battle, bros. All right, going up against FAM, otherwise known as FAM, otherwise known as a pretty cool team, not, not gonna lie. I thought for a second, I was like, oh, Mono Starter, because everybody was just so colorful. Um, but it is only three starters. But if they bring all three, then it is, in fact, mono uh, starter. Uh, they have a really cool uh, fire water grass core, as well as almost a fairy dragon steel core. I'm assuming one of the ground types is going to be a fairy. Something's a fairy type on this team. That's for sure. Um, so what do I want to do? I think that Glim looks like a really good lead to uh, get up a T-Spike in front of something. I'm just going to go Urlacher, though. And then I do kind of just want to bring Glim. Just because it is faster than everything besides the drill. So, like, I feel like I can just get a really strong hit off on something. Like, Power Gem looks pretty free. Uh, even Energy Ball looks pretty good. Uh, I want something that can't lose to the Dirge. The Dirge. Uh, let's go with Big Dog. And then let's go with... Uh... Oh, backs. I like backs. The Skeletor's might be the fairy type. I don't know. I didn't take a picture of the team, but I remember it vividly. Yes, I did. Never mind. For some reason, my phone didn't load it up. I don't understand. Regardless, that last battle was hilarious, bro. Bro queued up stall and did not know what to do. <laughs> He's like, what do I do? Do I fling my Toxic Warp turn one? You know what? I think that is what I do. Let's do it. Okay, so the lead off with this. Most likely getting up Rokka's. Which is fine. Are you air balloon is the question I have. I got a burp. Hold on. Okay. They are not. Will they air balloon? Find out uh, pretty soon, actually. I'm going to go for earth power. We are faster. What do they do? They do just soif. Okay. That oh my god. Is this specs? Jeez. Okay, that was a crit. Never mind. Empoleon. Damn, girl. Or boy, whatever the hell you are. Uh, Blood Moon. Wow, that, is, that could just be uninvested surf with the crit. Okay, that does not matter. Alright, well, I would like to vacuum wave. I would like to vacuum wave just because they could have Aqua Jet. Um, so I will. If they end up going, like, Dragonite, then I guess they go. Okay, perfect. 
Like, if they had Aqua Jet, they stay in. You know what I mean? So, um, that was pretty interesting. That was very interesting. Crit Surf. Crit really didn't matter. Like, if they were even slightly offensive, it always, it always brought me down to Sash. Oh, this guy's in. This guy's tiny. Hello, little guy. How you doing? Uh, what are they going to do? Rapid Spin would be pretty scary, but... I'm just going to Vacuum Wave, I guess. Like, if they Swords Dance, they Swords Dance. Like, whatever. Big damage. Look at this damage. Yeah, they did Rapid... Like, whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Show me a Life Orb. It would be funny. Show me a Life Orb. No Life Orb. Alright, well, then I guess... We go backs, I suppose? I just want to save... My, I want to save my Arcanine as long as possible. And I also don't want to Terra. What's this Pokemon's name? Excadrill. Sand sweeping all over town. Alright, Iron Head doesn't kill me. How much did our Vacuum Wave do? Yeah, I did about that much. Alright, Iron Head doesn't kill me. Let's go for it. Iron Head doesn't kill me. Two Ice Shards should get the job done. Uh, but I think I should just crash. Uh, so let's just crash the party. Don't be, do not be Terra Steel. Because then you do kill me. Be Terra Flying. Yes, thank you. Okay, so Ice Shard was the play, by the way. Because that guarantee killed. Brother. Brother, they don't know about backs. They don't know about Earthquakeless backs. And they don't know about the Earthquakeless backs, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Big crit. Crit mattered. Alright, huge. So I guess if they brought Skeletor, I just Terra. Same thing if they brought Dragonite, I just Terra. Uh, and then I shard twice. I don't even have to like risk the Ice School Crash miss. Actually, no. I'll Terra and uh, Glade Rush. Because that's cooler. But yeah, let's see what they end up doing. Big Torterra. Speaking of Terras. I'm just Ice Shard. I'll just Ice Shard. I'm not going to risk it. I think it kills. Oh, it's Sash. Well, that doesn't matter then. Because this doesn't even kill me. Holy crap, bro. Dude, invest in a Bax's HP and you just start randomly living hits. This is crazy. Like, I know it's just Rock Blast, non-stab. But it's super effective. And Torterra's pretty strong. You know what I mean? Like, you would think that, uh... It would do some things. So, I don't know. What was it? Like, I think the first battle was like six minutes. Second battle was six minutes. First, third battle was nothing. 12, 18, carry the one. Uh, we might be able to get a fifth battle in, guys. Two hours later. All right, guys. <laughs> Here we are with the fifth battle. I've, uh, trying to get this fifth battle has been a little bit cursed. Not going to lie. Not going to go too deep into it. Um, anyways... I don't really have a way to deal with Breloom lead, unfortunately. I don't think Dragonite kills it immediately, right? Surely not. Dragonite to Breloom. To Breloom. Scale Shot does not guarantee kill. If I get five, it does. But it's not guaranteed. <gasps> so. How do I prevent the Spore? Could Lee Glim and just Terra Grass. Seems like a shit play, but I, I could do it. Um, Spath is also annoying. Yeah. I think they're going to foresee the Glim lead. I don't really think that matters, though. Alright, let's quick quickly do this. This is like... I don't know. It's just my favorite three. I'm just bringing it. I, I don't know why I'm leading Arcanine either. I couldn't tell you. All right. Maybe entice them to click Mock Punch instead. And then I can Flare Blitz and E-Speed or something. My backs isn't faster than Breloom, guaranteed. So that's why I, I can't go into that. Okay, they let off of this. This is great. Uh, They could have Earth Power. They could have Earth Power. I would assume a Draco would also kill me. So I really don't want a Terra. 
But I think I will. Should've just let off a Blood Moon, man. Shouldn't, shouldn't have changed anything. Should've just let off a Blood Moon. Alright, let's just do it, though. It'll be funny. It'll be funny if they Dog Pulse. A lot of them don't run Earth Power. But I've seen Specs before, too. And if it's Specs Draco, I just die. I think if it's regular Draco, I just die. But let's find out together. I'm hoping that it's Dog Pulse. Or even U-Turn would be cool, too. I'm faster! Insane. Why am I faster? Are you modest, bro? Well, you're dead now, so it don't matter. Alright, well, that was a crit. Crit did not matter. Yeah, I don't understand. I should not have been faster, but we'll take it. Arcanine's base 90. And, uh... What's his face? Hydreigon's base 98. So, like... I don't understand that at all. I guess they were modest. Super greed. Super greedy. Big Mimikins coming in hot. And by hot, I mean... Uh, so we have this in the back, so I'm never worried. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna flare blitz and then potentially switch. I probably won't switch actually. I'm just gonna flare blitz. Not faster than this, and I don't live. Not cool. Not cool. I guess I'll keep. Oh, the life orb. Okay. I'm gonna go blood moon. I'll keep um. Backs. Alive because I guess it, it kind of can deal with one of the special attackers if, if they're uh, Arch and or the bird So yeah, we'll hyper or we'll earth power here to potentially get a spadef drop On the swords dance. This is not this does not matter. They don't know that but it doesn't matter No spadef drop I just realized it's shiny mimikins and I only realized it because of the thing. Anyways, big Blood Moon coming in. Doesn't matter. Sash didn't even matter. Okay. And then we Blood Moon. Probably could have Hyper Voiced and been fine. But you never know. And then let's see what they have in the back. Can our backs beat it? I hope it's... If it's Arch, I think we can. Like, pretty well. Pretty decidedly. It is this. Okay. Okay. They haven't Terra'd yet? Oh, I've already Terra'd. Never mind, I cannot Terra. Okay, we're fucked. We lose. Oh well. That's unfortunate. Maybe it's Banded? Maybe it's also the AV set? It looks like it could be. Looks like it could be. Which, I think the standard AV set doesn't run any speed. But they also they also haven't tear it at all, so I mean they definitely could tear it here. Um, and we'll just glaive rush. Damn, I guess if I saved Arcanine, I actually could have just won this end game, depending on what their tear was, of course. Oh, are they Sash? They're dead. Okay, I don't know what that was about. Why did they not tear it? Hello, are you tear? They must have been tear dragon, because they weren't banded. Yeah, I guess I guess the only uh, the, the only reasonable like, explanation there is they weren't Terra Dragon, and they, it looks like they were also the AV set too because uh, we outpaced them and we should not be outpacing them if they were like regular Max Caliber. With that being said, guys, that is gonna finally be it for us today. All right, the super secret special fifth battle single 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 special, uh, brought to you live by Q the Costa Rican. A uh, really fun team. I like Hisui and Arcanine. I think it has a nice little fun niche. Uh, Head Smash and Flare Blitz are just so fucking strong with Rock Head and Life Orb on top of that. And then the Terra Fighting CC to be able to do big damage to Bax Cal uh, to be able to do big damage to Blood Moon is also just really fun and then nice priority as well. And uh, the team as a whole, you know, definitely not the best, but some fun mods. Maybe Specs Glim could have been something different. I think Sash Blood Moon, I really liked the flexibility of leading off with that and just clicking buttons. Uh, AV Bax, I think, catches a lot of people off guard, even though it's getting pretty popularized lately. As you can see, we just ran into another one. Um, but yeah, man, and then stall beating Bronzong. You know what I mean? Lo just love that for him. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, guys, that's going to be it from us today. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.